Is there a more perfect time to release a game about the beautiful game than while the World Cup is in full swing? Well, that's exactly what Panic Barn has done with Soccer Story. But don't worry, it's still a solid game in its own right. Set some years after an unexplained cataclysm rocked the world during the Apple Cup Finals, almost destroying soccer forever, Soccer Inc. have made it their goal to ensure that no one, except a specifically sanctioned few, will even admit knowing what a soccer ball looks like. However, a magical soccer ball with other ideas has chosen you as the beautiful game's saviour. Choosing from a pair of twins is your job as the chosen one to reignite the passionate flame of soccer in people's hearts and follow in your father's footsteps. Your goal is to restore the Apple Cup and win it, but first you'll have to convince the legendary local teams to gear up again by beating them in local cups and sticking it to Soccer Inc. however you can. While you're at it, maybe, just maybe, you'll find out what the calamity actually was and what that floating island in the sky has to do with it all. Now, as you might have gathered from that narrative overview, Soccer Story isn't a traditional soccer game. It is, instead, the latest in a long line of games mixing sports and RPG elements to breathe new life into traditional sporting games. It's your career mode if you lived in a fantastical land with soccer playing sharks and panda goalies. The game is full of mini games to play, side quests to embark on, and people to talk to. The world of Soccer Story is gated off at first, with each of its zones requiring you to complete a story quest to unlock the following ones. Usually, you'll have to find some way to get a team to put on their cleats again beat them in a soccer match, and then help some other people around the zone before taking part in the Zone Cup Finals, which sees you replaying the previous team, along with a new one made up from previous Apple Cup stars. Between your core tasks, you run around each area doing side quests and minigames to earn yourself coins or upgrade medals. You'll be doing everything from hitting targets, preserving goalposts, by scoring in them, digging up bones and more. While each zone has a general set of busy work quests, it's the more fun ones, such as having to slide tackle sandcastles controlled by angry dads, or saving a bunch of swimming kids from angry sharks by bopping them with your controlled shots, that liven up the experience. That's not to say the main quests and storyline aren't fun, but repetition does begin to set in with the formulaic approach to unlocking each zone. Yeah, it can feel like a rather traditional RPG at heart, but it's the simplified soccer mechanics that ensure the minute-to-minute -minute gameplay shines. You interact with the world through a variety of soccer skills, most notably shooting, passing and sliding. Your magic ball can be summoned at any time, and pushing the right analogue gives you control over the trajectory and power. Think height and distance. Passing and standard shooting will pop the ball in whichever direction you're facing, and sliding is a simple button press to help you deal with a variety of minigames, or simply slide through shining grass to pick up more coins. Think of it as Link's sword swing, except it's soccer themed. Upgrades for yourself and your team are handled through medals, which you can earn or you can buy. They improve speed, strength, shooting and energy, which all contributes to your abilities in both matches and while navigating the overworld. Yeah, of course, you're still going to be playing plenty of soccer matches as well, and thankfully, the system shines. Admittedly, I don't play traditional soccer games, but Soccer Story's mechanics are stripped down to basics for a everyone-can-pick-up-and-play experience. Whether you're playing one-on-one -on -one matches or 5v5, you'll have access to the same abilities. You can shoot, pass, and slide tackle the opposing players. Holding down the shoot button charges up your shot, while you can sprint for short distances before needing a recharge. In keeping with the fantastical theme of the story, you'll also gain access to some special abilities, like the shark tackle that lets you shoot out a projectile to take another player down. The game's AI does a pretty good job of controlling your teammates when you aren't controlling them yourself, but I'd find it was better to quickly swap between them, which can be done handily with the pass button, for more accurate and defensive play. Matches can get quite challenging, regardless of the difficulty, but it's not difficult to exploit an opposing team's goalie by quick passing between players before making your shot. My first match, which was against a group of toddlers, left me on the losing side until I got used to the mechanics, at which point I seriously trounced them with a wonderful 6-0 score. Thankfully, matches only last 4 minutes. With easier matches, that can feel like a lifetime once you're well ahead with 2 or 3 goals, at which point I just exploited real-world tactics of keeping the ball away from the opposing team and wasting time. During the harder matches further into the game, every second counts, especially that last minute when you're desperately trying to score just one goal to equalise or claim a win. Now, I love the stripped down mechanics as they made it enjoyable for me, while maintaining the game's light-hearted and easygoing vibe. Using a match just means you learn and can retry with no actual penalty for losing, at least not if you want to keep going with the story. And if it does get too difficult, you can always change the difficulty settings mid-game to compensate. If you want extra practice, Sock Story also supports a separate quick match mode that lets you play matches locally or by yourself against customizable AI. Part of Soccer Story's charm is the top-down, chunky polygon stylings and super deformed sprite work that are always pretty to look at. There's a performance and quality mode as well, even on the Nintendo Switch, and while the quality mode only seemed to add some extra shadows, it did affect the frame rate. The game just runs better in performance mode, with only minor frame rate dips while swimming, and seeing as it's better to have smoother gameplay during the soccer matches, this would be my suggestion. The game story, along with the gameplay, moves at a nice sedate pace, making Soccer Story the perfect afternoon relaxation time kind of game. The game aims for a humorous approach to its story and dialogue, and while not all of it lands, particularly some inconsistent character writing, 
It's still a charming ride about following in someone's footsteps and striving for your dreams. Ultimately, Soccer Story is not a perfect game, relying on a significant amount of repetition, but with a relaxed pacing and quirky humour, it scores far more than it misses. If you've got this far, please consider giving the video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel as it helps us grow.